Hello Zendies, it's time for Tile on Tile String Series, a Zentangle mini project created using simple fun strings drawn with the help of a tile. So this is our Tile on Tile String number 41. You can check out all the projects from this series on our playlist Tile on Tile Strings. I'm Sandhya Manne, I'm an artist and a certified Zentangle teacher. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing Zentangle, my own Zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on any videos that I post here every Tuesdays and Fridays. For today's project, I'm working on a regular white square tile with my black pen, pencil and stuff. Go grab your supplies and let's get started. On to tangling now. Okay, so here we are. Um, but tile on tile string number 41. So. I'm working on a regular white square tile, a black 01 micron, a black 08 or a PN pen or any ticker tip pen, a pencil and a stub. So these are my supplies for today's session. Now let's get started with our string. So we are continuing um, working with two tiles to create our string. So here's what I'm going to do. I am adding my first string that goes like this. Okay, so this is in the right of the corner and then I'm just going to go and do this and the second one goes like this. And the third one goes like this. I'm trying to make sure this is pretty much in sync and the lines are maybe not starting from the same point but they're pretty much close like that. So this one is like this okay cool and then with the circle around tile I am just going about like this so I'm cutting this to half okay so this is going to be something like this so this is our String. So let's get started with our first tangle, which is flux. So I'm going to add flux here in this section. So I start off with first one like this. So I'm just adding flux Okay, uh, go back in and add a line and a dot like that. Okay, so now let's get to the second section. Okay, so here uh, we are going to do this tangle called chaining and it goes like this we add two lines it's kind of coming out like this okay so continuing on that
okay so i'm just going to leave it here we'll see how we can end this but for now i am going to go in and add black in these gaps Okay, so now here is this gap, I'm going to add circles or triples. Okay, same thing, I'm going to add circles here as well. Just giving it a good finish and we should move on to the next section here. Okay, so now over here we are going to do this tangle called Bunzo. So I am starting off like this. So we basically kind of do like scallops but the ends are um, touching each other. Okay, so here I am going to use my Tikata pen and we're going to fill this uh, alternating. So, what I mean by that is I am going to start from here. You know what, I'm going to add another line in between. 
something like that. Okay, done that. I'm going to add some circles in these tiny gaps here. Okay, so now here I am going to do this tangle called feather grid. So I'm going to create, um, sorry, not feather grid, well. We're going to do this tangle called well here. So I'm just making like three sections. And um, so we're just going to get started with a circle here. I'm going to pull out lines. And I'm going to give or uh, add aura lines like this. Okay, so this is all done. Now in this section, I am going to do this tangle called fox, fox thread, um, fox dot. So it, it goes like this. We are going to um, pull out an X shape here. Something like that. And don't worry if your lines are wonky like mine. That's totally fine. So I'm going to start with a center diamond like that.
So it's kind of like we were dance if we go along uh, this X shape. Okay, so I, I do the same thing here. Okay, so here it's all done. I've done fox dot here. Now in this section, we're going to do this tangle called um, feather grid, the beautiful tangle. So for this, we need to make grid, uh, and I am um, going to make more like a diamondish shape here. So let's see how we can get that. More like this, like this. Okay. So here, I am going to first pull out a spiral like this and we're going to keep adding more flux like this. And we're going to keep adding the flux along that center uh, curved line that we created. We said do the same thing here. I'm changing the direction of my curve. Now you can keep it the same direction for all of your um, feather grids uh, but I thought this would be interesting to see another radiation inside that So I just try to blend this into that, so there's a smooth transition between um, chaining and feather grid. Okay, so I'm going to go in and add black um, in these tiny tiny gaps.
Okay, there it is all done. We got the feather grid here. Now along this, I'm going to make, um, we're going to do quipple. So this goes like this. We start with a nice big circle like that nicely lined up. And now I'm going to make this next layer of circles, which is slightly smaller than the first layer of circles. Okay, so now I'm going to add finer circles. Okay, I'm going to go one more layer of even smaller circle. I'm going to finish it with this. So take your time to do this. Okay, so I'm going to take my um, to cut a pin to add black or maybe thinner to pin to add black in those teeny tiny gaps. So we will give it a nice finish and then get the shading.
okay so now let's get to shading so i'm gonna add my pencil right here right where all the flux starts off over here I'm just going along this um, layering so it can enhance the, the layering Okay, and for Banzo, I'm just going to add my pencil right here and right here. Okay, so for well, I'm just going to go along that line around the circle. So we will just go around that and pull the blending out. Okay, so for this, I'm just going to go in and add wherever there is those dips, just around that.
okay and for quarter I'm just gonna go along this line like that and we're just gonna blend this out and I'm also going to go around here at the circle this towards the end I'm just going to add the pencil and give it a beautiful shade Okay, Ta-da, let's now journal this. So I'm going to put my initials here and let's journal it. So today's date is um, 6th of September 2022 and this is tile on tile string number 41 so we started off with flux chaining bunzo well flux slot Feather good and what else? Quibble. Okay, flux training, bunzo, well, fox dog, feather grid, and quip. So these are our tangles for today. And here's our tile all done. Hope you had fun on this project with me. I would love to see your creations. So head on to our Facebook group, Zendies, where all the after party fun happens. Share creations there and check out the works where as assemblies. If you're sharing your works on social media, then please do tag me at Sandhya Mani or hashtag Sandhya with Sandhya so I get to see your lovely works there. And I do stop by to comment. A quick note, these projects and these videos are for your personal use and no part of this can be used for any kind of commercial purposes. To understand the Centangle method and to get started in your own Centangle journey, start with the fundamentals of Centangle workshop on my website. The link is www.sanyamanestudio.com slash fundamentals of Centangle. This is a beginner's workshop exclusively designed for someone who is just getting started. The link is in the description. Also in the description, click on the link Tangle Tutelage um, to receive free gifts and to receive weekly updates and inspirations from me. Now, if you are on Instagram, join me on my Instagram live every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. India time. Let's meet there and title together real time. Now it's time to comment, so please comment and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that really helps me plan out my next set of videos. Also, it's time to show some love, so hit that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. I shall see you next on Friday in our Focus Light series. Until then, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.